also known as Freddy Fast Fuck here. About to do some more Ratchet and Clank. Was thankfully able to get the capture card working again after I kind of decided not to work for me yesterday. So that's why there wasn't a stream on Tuesday because I was planning on doing something that day because I didn't do anything on Monday when I was supposed to. But anyway. We'll move on to uh, Planet 4-2. And everything should be going well. I forget if I already did the giant plant part. I'm I'm not sure. I don't think I did yet. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I didn't. Alright, so that's what we'll be doing first. Actually, you know what? No, what we'll be doing first is the uh, bolt zapper segment, and then we're gonna do the uh, giant clank segment. I'd, I, I'd rather just do this one first. All right. So, I'm just gonna do this again, get some extra bolts. Really the only reason why I'm doing this because anything to get the bolts quicker will be greatly appreciated. And who knows, if I end up getting all the gold weapons, I might end up playing Going Commando today. Or just starting it off. Because I've been wanting to get to another game for quite a while. I will still get the 1 million bolts trophy. Do not be alarmed, I will get that, and I guess, and I will switch back to Dredge and Clank whenever I'm close to getting the ride. Like, just for like, 15 minutes or so, because I want to get to going Commando soon. I need to get to another game. Oh look, it's Jabba Man. Alright, bolt grabber yet again. The single best thing in this game. I cannot praise it enough. And like most things in later installments, it gets even better. So there's really no complaining about that one. And the gold puzzle claw happens to one hit KO those robots, so they're not gonna be of any sort of They're not gonna be any sort of challenge anymore. Yeah, the game does get kinda boring when all you're doing is just grinding the bolts, which I guess is why they added the bolt multiplier. Oh Jesus Christ, I didn't even see those guys. Back off! Me alone. I don't want this. I just wanna collect bolts and beasts, goddammit. Anyway, like I was saying, yeah, the game get does get kind of boring whenever you're just going in and just grinding the bolts in order to get that 1 million bolts trophy. Which, I can understand why they would put that in for the later games, but for this one, it is just a chore. Because there's no quick way to get bolts. In the other games, yeah, it's really simple. But in this one, it takes a while. I'm glad that I have this baby right here. We'll just kind of get rid of everything in my path. Really good because it, it, it's it's weapons like this that make challenge mode much more bearable. Because if you were stuck with shittier weapons that didn't do as much damage, had as much range, had had as much ammo consumption then you wouldn't exactly be profiting as much as you as much as you are. Thanks to stuff like that, that actually makes the game much more bearable.
Yeah, my first time doing it, I did the glitch. As hmm. I, I basically did the, the glitch, and then I went to sleep, and then when I woke up, I had a million bolts. So that was that was a nice thing to wake up to. But I just went ahead and fucked. I don't know. That, 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 that trophy was kind of shit, so... I mean, what am I talking about? It is shit. Not only that, but I wouldn't even really consider it cheating that much, considering how much time and all that stuff that you have to go through in order to just get to there to that point, so... I'll be honest, I don't use the, uh, gold morph ray that much, so I wouldn't really know that happens, so... That's rather unlucky. Now though, I'm just gonna pull out these packs and these fucking copies. They're annoying as fuck to deal with. Oh, damn, I hit like, four with that shot. That, that was a bit good. I gained quite a few bolts from that, too. That. And now I've got Kalibo 3 unlocked. So, I'm gonna go do that. The Blur Commandos as well are a one hit kill with the Gold Tesla Claw, so I don't have to worry about any of those being an issue. Which I'm more than grateful for. Because things in the game not being any sort of challenge, well, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, I can, I can, I guess I could see myself using it there. But at the same time, I'd probably just use the Rhino or something. Unless I was saving ammo, then I would probably use the Morph Array. But I don't usually do that, so... I mean, I don't do it as often as I should, but, You know, it's whatever. Alright. Gadgetron CEO. Well, I, actually, you know what? First, I'll do the grind food section. Who knows? Maybe I'll pull off a dodge like I did last time. You never know. Oh, I love that. It's so good. Alright. First off, I'm gonna do the grind boot section. Because I might as well just get this out of the way, and I'm going to go down it because the area with the map has a uh, thing with metal detectors. So, getting those extra bolts could be beneficial to me. Well, actually, it's nothing but beneficial to me. So. And fortunately, I have 8 hit points this time instead of 1, so I probably won't end up making as cataclysmic of a mistake as I did last time. I'm so glad that I don't have to put up with that shit. And I don't have to do that, and I don't have to do all that either, because I already got the point. Because, you know, challenge me. Now 
Now it's just a matter of avoiding the trains, which is relatively easy in my opinion. I mean, from somebody who dodged the shit out of them. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it again because I. I can. I, uh, after making a mistake like that, I can remember their path. I. I definitely know which way I'm gonna be going. There we go. And just like that, it's over. So while I didn't do a fantastic dodge like I did last time. I did do it without getting hit, so, and I didn't even have the Pyrocitor out at all, so, I mean, you gotta give me something. Maybe just a pat on the back, or, or not even anything at all, you know? I mean, I'm just doing this to do it. Some extra bolts always make a little bit of a difference. We move on, I'm going to get to the Gadgetron CEO. Oh hey, you know, maybe I'll do something else that's relatively impressive in this game. You never know. But I, but I think more stuff like that will come whenever I'm trying to do uh, up your arsenal and going commando, because that game has many more opportunities for that. There we go. Let him try. Once again, I don't think I've visited a vendor once with the uh, gold tussle cloth. I haven't had to. To get ammo for it. It's incredibly easy just to nuke your enemies with it. So, really no need. I always like uh, Up Your Arsenal the most out of all of them because that was the first out of the original trilogy that I played. I didn't play uh, Going Commando or the first game until much later. I had, and I didn't play Deadlock until even later than that, when uh, the HD version came out. That, uh, that version is, um, it's, uh, it's a thing. It's nothing special, that's for sure. But uh, it did allow me to play Ratchet Deadlock, so... And the thing is, Ratchet Deadlock is a pretty good game, so... I mean, I can't make the experience any less because of the HD collection. HD. Oh yeah, and then there's this fucking... Uh, too far out of range for that, so... Wake up Stater, please. There we go. It uh, makes one rocket into three, so basically you're getting a triple shot. Well, kind of. I mean, you're not shooting out three rockets at a time, it's one rocket exploding three times. So, I mean, I guess it's kind of like a triple shot. Yeah, the actual game had a lot more... Uh, replayability than the previous games. Like, you could do so many things over and over and over, and you could just... and it wouldn't end. Like, uh, your health would go up to 999, the weapons would go up to V99. So, it was... it took... it definitely takes a while to get them all up there. That's for sure. There we go. It's, uh, it's, it's a pretty good game. The HD collection just has some visual bugs with it. 
Other than that though, the game plays pretty well. about to miss this over here. And of course, when I need a Viz Bomb, it all turns into Viz Bomb ammo. But, uh... Well, I mean, I guess I can't complain, because I have been getting a lot of trouble. Can't see? Just like that. Anyway. I need to do this. That's almost 20,000 bolts, which is enough to buy yet another gold weapon, but uh, I'll hold that off until I start the game over again, just to get the maximum amount by the time I hit Nivalis again. You knew that completely wrecking shit would lag your game. There we go. And now there's Gatron CEO. First. Those. And that. And now we're gonna do it. Alright. Now I don't have to worry about getting the uh, skill point for this race anymore. But I still managed to fuck up anyway. Awesome. Either way. It's not that big of a deal, because I can still get in first place really easily. The only thing I'm really mad about is the fact that those bolts are not going to be as easy to obtain. But either way, still easy. Especially since I can take the shortcuts now. And gain quite a few bolts from them while I'm at it. So, overall, not bad. This track isn't hard, it's just, uh... You just have to time your jumps and boost at the right time. Fortunately for me, boosting is all the time. I'm not called Hootie Boots. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. But anyway. Like I said, this race is relatively easy. Well, I guess they both are, but you know. In comparison, this one has shortcuts that are... I guess a little bit trickier to get to, but... Overall, it's still really easy. And the other one didn't even have shortcuts. This one does. Which still makes it much easier. Alright, got the hollow guys. We're good to go. <coughs> That's everything for here. I did that in what? Like 7? No, 15 minutes. It's not bad. Alright, moving back on to court 2. I just head on over there. Yeah, I got it. I got a deadlocked HD for free because I had a Ratchet and Clank Full Frontal Assault. 
And since that game came free as well as the Vita version, I was able to get all that for free. I was able to get the Vita version of Full Frontal Assault and Deadlock HD for free. So, overall $15 for Full Frontal Assault. And I got uh, Deadlocked HD for free as well. So, overall, I think it was a good deal. But anyway, uh, just, just a quick select for a moment. There we go. Hollow Guys is going to replace the Trespasser because I can't use the Trespasser here. I'm at it. Alright, so I'm gonna whip out the hollow guys. Now since these robots go down relatively easily now, I don't exactly have to worry too much about staying hidden. Because I can just come in and just completely wreck their shit. Provided they don't hit that button first, but uh, that shouldn't be an issue. I barely even need the hollow guys anymore. But I do need it to get past some parts, so it is necessary. Uh, yeah, I'll just... Once again, Nate can hit me from here. I'm gonna hit that guy. I can hit him, though. There we go. Just gotta shimmy across the ledge. Hopefully I don't hit by one of those things. Am I gonna? No, I'm not gonna. It was close. Alright. Now I need to have the hollow guys for that, but I can just immediately go. Oh, there was a third one. God damn it. Well, that's no fun. I didn't even see that guy. Oh well. You'd figure I would learn that there, were th there's three guys up there instead of the usual two. But either way, we move on. I'm go around and put the bolts that are in here. This is where they're making those uh, mechs. I mean, it's not gonna really work out too well because I can destroy them at any time, so. Uh, I don't know if people can see me from here. So let me test that out. Can they? No, they can't. That because it's the alarm thing that really gets it that gets at me sometimes because you have to make sure that they don't hit it. And that's hard because sometimes, well, it's it's kinda difficult to get them away from it. And if they're just kind of attacking on their own, it means that they're just trying to launch project projectiles at you, which is much easier to avoid than in and a homing in shot from whatever. Either way, it's annoying. That's all I have to say about it. 
Oh yeah. yeah. Should do it. Mom? Oh, brother. Alright then. Moving on to Drex Fleet. I'm really getting through the game very quickly. So at this rate I might end up playing going commando today. I might. It's not certain, but I might. If I can get the rest of the gold weapons. Because that's going to be my main goal toward ending this. Because I don't think anybody really wants to see me go through the same game over and over a couple of times just to see me get a million bolts. Because honestly, I don't have that much to go off of for this game to go off of it a couple more times. But either way, it's it's still fun playing it, even if it does get tedious after a while. Yeah, the rooms down here have good bolts, so I'm going to uh, play in this part as well. I'm gonna have a nice, careful cruise, if I do say so myself. Let's see what happens. I'd like to say that I, I, I'm, I'm actually kind of disappointed that uh, places like this won't be in the uh, new Ratchet and Clank game, because from what I can remember, or at least from what I've heard, the game is length and how many planets are in that game is much shorter than the ones that are in the original, mostly because they kind of combined a couple of them, such as they combined Umbras and uh, ETS, because that place now holds the Largy and Snackle Beast. But either way, I'm just, uh, I mean, the, I mean, overall, the length isn't going to really matter too much, because that game does offer challenge mode and all that other stuff to keep the game going, well after you finish playing it, sort of giving you another, another objective after you complete the game, which is, you know, kind of what we should expect from a game like that. Uh, from what I remember, they combined uh, the BTS and they combined Umbris, but I'm not exactly sure which other ones they did. They combined. I need to look back into it to see if they combined Battalia and Hope, because I think they might have. But then again, I'm still I'm still not. I wanted to keep myself at least a little bit spoiler free on some of the levels, such as Pokutaru and uh, Sherwan, because I I don't want to give it too much away to those uh, getting away from spoilers. Because, yeah. Oh wait, I forgot about the metal reflection. Alright. So. 
Let's head back to port two just to get the uh, code box back into the vault. Oh wait, no. I'm a fucking idiot. Let's head back to port two. There we go. Oh, that, that was dumb of me. Oh, whatever. Also, from other things that I have heard, I will say that. Well, I, I nah, I guess I should spoil that because that's kind of a special Easter egg for those that know about the series and have seen all of its Easter eggs. I really shouldn't give that one away. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm just kind of trying to look for something else to talk about because you know. I I've already gone through this before. Anyway, there's different enemy placements after you come back to, uh, what to do, such as the Tesla Claw old guys. Yeah, they're now roaming around the robot plants rather than around here. The, uh, robots are nowhere to be seen anymore. So if you ever head back here, that... It's... Uh, it's an interesting place. Also, these guys tend to get more bolts if you come back here, I guess, because you're heading into endgame and everything in endgame gives more bolts, including this. So, right, let's see. I think I said that I need somewhere around like 60,000 in order to get the rest of the gold weapon. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll find that out after I can see the director. is going to be a really easy fight now that I have the Gold Puzzle Blast and Gold Blaster. And Gold Devastator. All three of those will make the fights go by much, much quicker. To the point where Drek is pretty much a joke. But then again, the Mutated Proto Pet's a joke. And Nefarious is actually a fairly tough bo boss fight, in my opinion. I thought- I always thought Nefarious was a pretty tough one. Despite the fact that I can own him with the sniper rifle of that game. Pretty easily. I'll be honest, sniping in these games, by uh, not using scope whatsoever and not having any sort of reticle to go off of, is actually kind of difficult. Yeah, so you need to play through the game at least four or five times in order to make any sort of progress with the 1 million bolts trophy. Alright. Now that I've got that out of the way, I can finally finish the game. So, let's go and do that. Let's begin. Once again, I have the eagle. Once again, these enemies are going to be very easy to get through, so... Oh. Hope that popcorn you brought won't... I, I, I have no idea what I'm going to That's the only thing that stops me here, this. That's the only thing that stops me from bum-rushing this place, is the fact that I have to use the hollow guys sometimes. And oftentimes, I forget... When that is. However, after that, it's pretty easy. Oh yeah, those guys I could have taken out of the pocket. Eh, oh well. Probably shoot up to about 60,000 before we're done with it. Alright, it's just these guys. Once again, I love how quickly it takes enemies out. 
that's in my opinion the best thing that is. The fact that I can just annihilate an entire room just like that. It's so good. And I praise it way too much, but it deserves it. Yeah, the mutated protocut is the easiest boss in, in my opinion, the Ratchet and Clank series. Because while its attacks are interesting, it doesn't have a whole lot of health when compared to your weapons at that point. Which makes it pretty much a pushover. And also, can I just say that, uh the meteor gun with the lock-on mod, it makes that boss just disintegrate. And, oh uh, yeah, while I'm at it, you can use the vaporizer, and if you have enough bolts for this, you can actually kill the mutated protopet even before you initiate the boss fight. Because the thing is already right there, and you're doing damage to it with the sniper rifle. So you can just go ahead and kill it. It, you won't be able to notice when you kill it, but af after your shots stop doing damage is when it's dead. It's interesting though. I've done it a couple of times, and it ended up turning the uh, mutant proto pet green and blue, like a sickly shade of green and blue mix, because I had the shock mod and I was also using. I forget what other weapon I was using, but it had a acid mod on as well. You can actually kill that thing with the sheep. I've never actually attempted to kill it with the sheepinator. I'll be honest. I only used it to uh, ruffle it up. And that—that's the thing with most of the morphing, the weapons that turn enemies into animals. I only really use them to level them up, and then I don't really use them again because there's other weapons that do the job for me just fine. Alright. Honestly, this, uh, this fight, this battle is much easier than the other two that I went through with Quark and, uh, on Pokotaru. Much easier. You right, and you can line up your shots correctly. You know what I'm not doing. All right. Oh. There we go. See, easy. I didn't even lose that much health, to be honest. I didn't lose that much health, TBH. Alright, now that's cleared, I can finish the level. These levels go by much, much quicker the second time around. Because you don't have to kill enemies in a strategic way, you can just kind of shoot them. And they'll instantly die makes things much, much easier. Uh, but I can fall off the edge. Right here. There we go. Let's not fall down there. That's the way to Drex. To getting the uh, info box to turn it Belden. So I'm gonna head through here. Yep, 62,000 bolts. I think I might hit 70,000 by the end of this. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that I might. It's a possibility. Not gonna deny it. How many bolts that you get in Belden, it's definitely a possibility. If this is something weaker, 63,000 bolts.
Alright. So. There we go for Go Bob. One thing that I like about the thruster pack in this game that isn't in the other ones is that when you jump, you can also do a high jump, I mean a stretch jump in midair. However, you won't get a, as much propulsion out of it as you would on the ground. So I guess that was to try to balance it out and make the thruster pack even more worthwhile than it is. Than than the helipack is. But since you get the helipack and the thruster pack at, at the same time in going commando and up your arsenal, which is whenever you get flank for going commando and the beginning of the game for up your arsenal, well, I mean, you don't really... I, I guess it was removed to sort of balance the two out because everybody knows that the Thruster pack is better for more mobility across the battlefield and stuff. However, the helipack is better for doing the more game-breaking glitches. I will give it that. Things the thruster pack cannot do, such as the uh, old thing with if you did a uh, charge boots thing, and then you did the plasma whip in the third game, and then. You, you gained a lot of momentum from that, and stretch jumping with the helipack made you go ridiculously far. I only recently learned how to do it, but my god, you can do so much of that. It's very good. Anyway, yeah, it's definitely looking like I'll, I'm gonna hit 70,000. Definitely. Without a doubt. I don't even need to head up there. I'm just headed over here. Alright. Ah, that guy's probably gonna kill me. Nope. He got nothing on me. Aw. Oh, I guess he got out of range. Huh. I didn't even know that was considered out of range. Oh, I I believe I went through the tank there, if I'm not mistaken. Um, okay, I I know that I was aimed at the treads, but I figured that it should have blown up the tank as well. At least that's what I think should have happened. I don't know why it didn't. Weird. Well, either way, same result, so can't really complain, but it's kind of weird that the hitbox is not on the threads. Uh, I wonder if a little devastator shot would do it. Let me try that out. It does, actually. It didn't shoot up there, so... This bomb it is. Remember when I said I was gonna hit 70,000 bolts by the end of this? Yeah, I'm I'm about to do that just now, and I'm just get now starting Velden. Uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right then. Uh, pull out the trespasser for this because I don't need the hollow guys at all. It's a shame the hollow guys was very short lived. You didn't really need it for most of the game. And because you got it so late, it doesn't really see much action. Um, yeah. Do that. Oh, no, wait. No. Yeah, that'll work. There we go. And... Alright, we're close. So get up here. But yeah, 70,000 bolts, definitely gonna get 75,000? I'm not sure. But, uh, always good to try more goals in life. And in game. Alright, got maxed out puzzle claw ammo. Just 
plot the... I'll just do it from the gadgets, because I am going to use the trespasser one more time. Then I'll switch it out for the hydro displacer. But yeah, 75,000 bolts is looking like the thing that I'm going to try to get towards. And if that goes well, then I should have... by the end of the stream, or even within uh, the next 15 minutes. Yeah, I think the treads are not part of the hitbox on that thing. At least, the sides of it aren't. Which is strange. I'd actually be kind of curious to see what the hitboxes are for the enemies in this game. I did not forget about that, uh, morning toad that I have to use the taunter on, by the way. I was gonna, I was gonna come back for him. Cause that's, like, ten bolts that I wouldn't have gotten. Okay. Alright. second. Okay. Sorry about that. I have to make sure that there's no more background noise. Or at least I try to, null to nullify it the best that I can. There we go. reason why I don't go on that platform until I shoot this out. Either way. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hit 75,000 by the end of this. 80 is, 80 is pushing it. Yeah, 80 is definitely pushing it. I don't think I'm gonna hit 80 though. But, uh, definitely gonna hit the total of 75,000. Also, I don't need the trespass anymore, so I'll just place it with the Hydro Displacer. So I'm gonna need that later. Alright, Metal Detector. going well so far. Uh, 
Alright. Good on ammo. 230,000, eh? That's about, uh... In order to get 1 million, you would need to do... A couple of places. Like 4 and... 4 and a 4th, actually. If you were to spend none. But, of course, we all know that's not really possible, so... Well, I mean... Well, I guess I can't say that it's not possible, because people have done that. Uh, I think a guy na by the name of Heal Game Master did a wrench-only playthrough of the game that I'm playing now, and I think he is doing Going Commando. I think. I don't know, I haven't really watched him, so I wouldn't really be able to tell you. I do know that he's friends with one of the old devs on the, on, uh, Ratchet Clank, so. The guys that did the useless podcast, I think it was. One of them. And I, I forget what the guy's name was. Uh, I think it was Tony or something. Uh, yes, he does. But it's very small. But he can take damage from the wrench. Hyper striking is the way to go for that, though. I would not recommend uh, throwing the wrench because that takes up way too much many frames of you standing still and open to damage, which is thankfully changed in the later games. All right. So that's about as good as things are going to get. Definitely going to hit 75,000 though. I can almost guarantee you. Because all these enemies are going to get bolts. And there's a lot of them. Yep, yep, yep. Right. Like I said, definitely going to hit 75k. Now, anything higher than that? Well, I can't really guarantee I'll get that. Yeah, almost 76k. That's not bad. That's definitely not bad at all. Come to think about it, uh, I actually think that one of those guys, the guy I think is named Tony, actually worked on Skylanders as well. Which is interesting. Seeing him go from working on stuff like actually playing to Spider-Man. Skyrim. I almost said Spyro because Spyro's in Skyrim. So. It's not exactly Spyro anymore. Skylanders is pretty much its own thing now. They could take Spyro out whenever they want to, but nobody would really care. I, mean, I think people would actually want that to happen without even get the chance of there being a new classic Spyro game. But of course, we're not going to be seeing one of those in years. Now, uh, Crash Game, though, that's a bit closer than you might think. Since uh, Activision hasn't really done anything with the series, in a couple more years, it'll be considered a bandwagon, and Activision will no longer have the license to it. Which I think is going to leave Crash in the hands of the fans, which I think is best for him at this point. The little guy's been through so much, and, well, he's been through quite a bit, and then he's just been kind of left there to rot, so, people are all, people always want to crash. I mean, it's not like Sonic, where he just kind of needs a break, he's, Crash has had his break, he just kind of, you know, just faded into obscurity, not really obscurity, more so, faded into neglect. You know, in the basement of Activision. Along with, uh, Classic Spyro, and... I don't, I don't know, what else do they own that, that means so much to others? Um... Now, Conquer is owned by Microsoft. Uh... In a... In a couple of years, um... 
Crash is going to be considered abandonware because Activision hasn't done anything in the franchise in so long. So, it'll leave Crash open to, uh, owning, being owned by whatever game, like, whoever wants to pick them up. It could be fans, it could be other developers that would like to make a new Crash game, it could be anybody. But, uh, it won't, it will and, but the rights will no longer be owned by Activision if they don't do anything with it, which I think they might, just to keep the rights, you know, like pull a Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5 type thing, which would be pretty bu bullshit in my opinion, but, um, yeah, uh, plays Taunter with the Suck Cannon, Visibomb is useless, so, well, I guess I'll give it to the drone device. And for this, I guess that'll just um I don't know Walloper, I guess. Yeah, that's that's why I like the gold blast because it can do stuff like that. Let's fight. Like I said, Rex is pretty easy if you have the weapons. I mean, he was easy before, but he's even easier now. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's kind of sad. In my, in my opinion, that uh, Bidlock didn't get the uh, online cooperative treatment. It would have been really interesting to play that game online co-op. Would have ha would have had more people playing it, definitely. Drex almost dead. Expected. Gonna go hit that. Yeah, I, I kind of figured this was going to be the doctor's way. Alright, now... I think this is about the time when he's going to get our head on over there. So, get the state or it is. Anyway, he's fucked. Say goodbye, Drek. Go fuck. Almost dead. There he goes. Oh yeah, that would that that would be very interesting and fun to play on Exterminator difficulty with somebody. Because I played through the entire game on Exterminator difficulty and it's it's uh it's quite the ride. It's hard, but uh Still very fun, but for getting some of those skill points, I would suggest going on a lower difficulty than that. This can't. Be All right, seven out of ten gold weapons. I'm going to go and get those three that I was missing. I'm gonna just start a new game once again. This is like the third time that I'm doing this. Um, fuck. It's 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 been a while since I played Deadlocked, so. I don't remember the exact amount of skill points in that game. I know it's a lot, though. Always gotta adjust the camera controls. This fucking game. Well, now it gets to the 76,000. Alright, I'm just gonna 
ways through here. Really easily. I'm gonna head over to Navalis. Yeah, uh, Ratchet Deadlock definitely has the most skill points out of any Ratchet Clank game because it was such an integral, integral part of the game's gameplay, I guess. Like, uh, it was one of the few Ratchet Clank games that actually told you what to do for the skill points, whereas games such as this one, Going Commando Up Your Arsenal, they did not. Games later on in the series, such as Tools of Destruction, and a crack in time also did. However, it started when with games like All for One, Full Frontal Assault, that told you what to do for the skill points, and I believe Into the Nexus did that too. They kind of removed some of the suspense from it, but at the same time, I was glad to be able to get those games done relatively quickly. I would uh, show some of you guys the Easter eggs in uh, Belden, but uh, I just want to get through the. You know what? Fuck it. I, I I've got time. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys one of the many things that you can do in this game. And the thing about the this bomb is that it can't go out of it can go out of bounds in Velden because you're technically not supposed to have it. And I think it's back here. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me head on up here. And I think if I'm not mistaken. back here. On one of these rocky platforms. I know that much. Well, that doesn't do me any good. Yeah, that's what I plan on showing you guys. The uh, courier ship that you get in Navalis is actually... can actually be found here. However, you can't access it by any means other than hacking. Alright, don't get there. Yes, I'm going to use up all my Visibomb ammo for this. It's worth checking out. There's a couple of Easter eggs around here. I believe it's behind this one. Ah, it wouldn't let me get to it in time. I wonder if that's uh, because I'm taking so long to get to it, or it's simply going out of bounds. I think it's because I'm taking so long to get to it. So let's try it again. Yep, there it is. Yeah, the uh, courier ship can be found here. Which is, I think, kind of interesting because you're not supposed to get it until then. And if you were to get to it through hacking, you it, the game would pretty much crash because you don't have access to any of the planets. So, even if you could g get there, it, it's not worth it. Then, if I remember correctly, there's another... Going around here somewhere. Also, just a heads up that, uh, yeah, you can go through the little area that's around there. Let me see here. Where's that other skill point? I mean, not skill point, area. Secret area. Um. Huh. There's somewhere around here. However, can I? No, oh, I can't. Tropical 
trees and stuff. It's very different from the uh, Elden terrain. And I'm not sure where that's at, so... I've seen it once, but I, d I don't remember where it's at. Yeah, I was pretty sure that that had collisions, but the other area over here doesn't. It's not even a vendor or anything. Just complete emptiness. Try to turn around. Let's see if I can get anywhere with this. I've completely forgotten about it, so it might be. But anyway, let's let's move on. Let's go ahead and get the rest of the gold weapons, and then I'll get started on going commando. I've got about 45 this minutes. This could be a problem. Start. Take care of it. So. Whoa! This is great. So might as well. Then I can just focus on getting the Rhino and uh, the 1 million bolts trophy much, much quicker if I do it offline. So, you're not really missing anything much, just me grinding for bolts. Anyway, bomb glove. Bigger bombs, more. I guess they're more accurate, and they've also got more range. And they do more damage, of course, with that uh, area of effect. The Gold Pyrocitor. Longer range, more damage, and a soothing green flame. And Gold Morphere. Which will create giant shipments. I am now King Midas, apparently, because I have all the gold. Alright, so, with that, I will be signing off for Ratchet and Clank. Now, for those that want to see me do the 1 million bolts trophy, I will be recording that, but I will not be streaming it. So, you can find all of that on my YouTube channel, which is Freddy Fuck, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed my playthrough of Ratchet & Clank, me trying to complete all that I can in a reasonable amount of time before the game's release on April 12th, so let's, uh, that, that's me signing off for another stream for now. I'm going to switch to Going Commando, and I hope all of you have enjoyed this, so stay tuned. Be right back.